Okay guys, so today we're going to start cutting this tank up so we can build our stove. If you haven't watched how to clean this out, I'll put an end card at the end of this video and in the description so you can watch that first before you go cutting on these tanks. So let's go ahead and start cutting a hole in this. Okay guys, I've got me a piece of cardboard here and I'm going to tape it on here. This is going to be for my door and I'm just going to use this as a template. I've got a line drawn across here because there's a there's a weld spot where this tank was put together right here so I know that's perfect so I'm going to just kind of tape it there and that's why I drew that line across there so I can line it up with that line and it'll be somewhat square don't have to be perfect it's just a little stove okay now I'm going to trace around this and then we'll cut it out. Got my pen here. Just like this, can you see that? Now you get the idea. Just trace your trace your line. Because you're gonna want it to be somewhat cut pretty pretty straight you know so your door opens and closes pretty good just like that and then if you want you can fill in where your tape was you don't really have to if you're good enough with your grinder you can just slice right across there Now, let's get to cutting. Okay guys, let's make a little noise. Now I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm not going to bore you with it. one now we got to make some vent holes down here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like that about that big and I'm going to make it slide so I can slide over my vent holes you know something like you know like this but I'll be using stainless steel for that so there's our door now I'm going to put change my wheel and I'm going to smooth this all off so it's not so sharp okay and then we'll put a we'll put a hinge on it so we can open it all right so we've got this cleaned up kind of rounded the edges a little bit so it's not so sharp got this all cleaned up in here it's going to go like this now we're going to put we're going to put a hinge over here and we're going to put a little a little handle that'll lock it and we want to make sure it doesn't go all the way in, so we're going to have to come up with something like, you know, to hold that from going all the way in. Okay, so that's kind of, kind of what it's going to be like right there. Just like that. So that way we can open that up. So let me go see if we can find a hinge, and we'll go from there. Alright, I got some holes marked, a couple holes. I'm only going to put two, two bolts in each one of these. So I'm going to drill these out, I'm going to try to use the nail as a center punch, 
and I don't know if it worked, but I've got punches in there, but they're not center punches. All right, so let me get my drill. So remember, guys, if you're doing this, don't worry about if it's not perfectly straight or anything like that if you're going to be using it. Uh, if it's a showpiece, that's a little different. But I don't know about you, but I'm going to be using mine even just for the hell of it sometimes. Right, so let's try to drill a couple holes in here. Now let's change our drill bit. I don't know what that sound was. It didn't sound good though. Alright. I'm going to put my foot on there just in case. Let's see if our bolt will fit in there. Yep. Cool. Let's do this next one here. Alright. Now I'm going to have to do the same thing to the hinge. I'm going to have to make two of those holes bigger. Okay, so let's see how they work. Okay, they look pretty good. Now let's try to make these bigger. That's why I need a vise or a drill press. If you guys have one you're not using, let me know. Now, I'm going to go like that. Stick a couple bolts in here and see what we got. I've got these, uh, a lot of people call them, a lot of guys call them stove bolts. Okay. Damn it. Screen's upside down. So, I'm going to try to put these in there. Let's see, they're going to stick out a little bit, but I'm not worried about that. See? Uh, I really don't care about that. Because, like I said, this is going to be used. I've got different bolts in there, but I don't like, I don't like the looks of them. I like these. And I'll probably I'll probably cut them off too once I get the get them on here and get them tightened down. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on our tank here. Or what's gonna be our stove. You know, I'll get this up here where it needs to be. I'll drill my two holes out. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. I'll have a little bit of a gap. I'm not worried about that gap either. Okay, so let's just get it on here and see how it looks first, all right? So let me do that, and then we'll drill these two holes out. And that hole is way off, guys. Way off. See that? No biggie. Let's fix that. All right, so that was totally my fault. I think the drill walked on me when I started drilling that one. And uh, I screwed it up. But, as you can see, it's not opening real well. So I may have to slide them over a little bit more to get this to open okay so let me get that adjusted and then we'll have our door pretty much on other than the latch okay so I think I'll just slot these holes out that way so I can pull it out some more 
Okay guys, so we got the door on. All we gotta do is put a latch on and the door will be finished. And then we'll put our vents down here. This gap here will be filled in with some stainless steel. So I'm not worried about that. So then we'll we'll make our latch tomorrow. But I think right now we should try it out. I mean it's good enough to put a fire in there, right? Let's give that a shot. Now, of course, I still got to put a stack on this thing, but it's going to go back here because I'm going to put something across the top so I can cook on this thing whenever I want to. Plan B. Want to stay lit, but I think it's going enough. Put a little bit of wood in there. And of course, I still got to make a grate for that so the wood can set on so it doesn't get smothered. That's no biggie. Of course, that hole in the top's kind of small, so. But like I said, I'll put a stack, a bigger stack, you know, about three inches in diameter or whatever. So, that's hot already. That's very hot already. You guys see in there with all the smoke? I'll bring you over here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then we'll probably put make it make a um, couple little legs for it or something. But it's all in time. All right, guys, I'm going to let that catch, and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, there it is. Once we get the vents down in the bottom, it'll burn really well down across there. And we'll have to get a stack for the top, like I said, and uh, get put a grate in there so that your wood can step off the, off the floor. But other than that, we'll be good. Uh, so it's not done yet. Might be... Probably a couple more parts to this video, but I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, tune in when I get on to step, actually step three, right, of building this little stove. So Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.